I mean, it's Jackie Robinson, Babe Ruth. How can you go wrong? <laughs> They've been sitting in a safe deposit box for almost eight years. It being real was the biggest victory, I guess, for me. Hey guys, Andy Broom, CGC Cards. I'm here today with Bart, and Bart has a really cool story. So he's gonna do a grade reveal of two cards that he submitted, but really the story uh, of how you got these and, and, and what it did uh, is a really important thing. Th these really got you back in the hobby. So yeah. if you don't mind, Bart, tell us a little bit about the story. Well, it was 2016, and I was um, really not an active collector. I had been a collector as, as a teenager, uh, in the 90s, I'm a junk wax, you know, relic basically. Uh, I had a bunch of cards collecting dust and I went to this auction about five minutes from my house, uh, August of 2016, and these were one of the first lots in the auction. It was a variety of different things. And I said, I mean, it's Jackie Robinson, Babe Ruth. How can you go wrong? <laughs> Let's right. hope that maybe I have a shot to win these two cards. And I knew the Jackie Robinson one in particular was his rookie card. So um, sure enough, got bidding, a little bit of back and forth, but I, I thought I got a pretty good deal on them. The problem was they weren't graded. So, you know, I bought them and actually someone came, came to me as I was picking them up and said, do you know that they're real? And I, you know, didn't want to give it away, but basically I was not sure. So they've been sitting in a safe deposit box for almost eight years, and I finally decided to come to CGC and see what they were. Now, I'll, I'll add a little more to that from, what, from my perspective of the story. Uh, you know, you bought these at a local auction. Uh, I know red flags are already going up everywhere with everybody watching. Uh, but you brought them to me, and these were exactly how you had them from the auction. And these were in a one-inch screw down, and then sealed in a bag on top of that. So. Uh, you know, it took me a second, had to get a loop out to make sure they're real, you know, so I can only imagine the, the faith that you had buying <laughs> these almost sight unseen in a way because, yeah. you know, that's, uh, uh, again, more red flags are going everywhere for everybody. But, uh, but no, but it's cool because um, these both do, they did turn out to be authentic. So this is a win here. Yeah. This is one of those Especially stories. Really. Yeah, really. yeah. Well, that's <laughs> very cool. So, um, so yeah, you, you said who they were. So let's get right to it then. Yeah. Uh, the first card is the, the Babe Ruth, and uh, I'll just hand it to you. Yep. Three and a half. Um, you know, I, I thought this would be the worst of the two, just because of the, the way the, the paper looks. I mean, of course, it being real was the biggest victory, I guess, for me, just not you know, buying ungraded cards. But um, yeah, I was curious just what you saw in this to come come to that conclusion. Yeah, so it, really, I mean, it's great eye appeal for that card. Uh, and, and it's got some, some light wrinkling uh, and corner wear. Uh, but what's cool about it is I say wrinkle, not crease, because while it is wrinkled, it doesn't break the surface. So the eye appeal is amazing on that card. I love it. The other star here is Jackie Robinson. Uh, and uh, this is a cool one. Uh, I, again, the, the story really makes it, right? I mean, just, yeah. you know, where they came from, the, the odds of them being real are pretty slim. And if they are real, they may be altered. Um, so I'll give you that one there. A five. Um, you know, I didn't, like, again, I didn't really know. I'm not like an expert in these cards uh, from the 40s. I had really high hopes for this card. Um, obviously, it being real is such a, a win from an investing standpoint, but it's also like a piece of history. I mean, you're talking yeah. about the probably the most significant baseball player for our society. You know, one of like the like a key American in American history, basically. Yeah. And it's just a cool piece of um, memorabilia to have. For sure, absolutely. I mean, you know, that's uh, if if you if you are a vintage collector, which I am. Uh, you know, there, there's a real short list of those superstars that you got to have, and, and, and really, you know, I don't even want to call Jackie a superstar, more of a, really of a true hero. And uh, so, you know, he's, he's one of those, you got to have a card of his in your collection. And, and, and this, this in particular, it's a, it's a great example. Yeah, so, thank you. Yeah, Bart, I mean, that's uh, congratulations, of course, on, uh, you know, you had to wait a few years, about eight years <laughs> now. So yeah, not, not a quick, uh, you know, reveal here, but, uh, but no, I mean, how exciting is that to walk into a local auction going in blind and you see these, you take a chance and, and it paid off. I consider myself pretty lucky. Um, I really appreciate you, you know, basically grading the first two cards I've ever had graded, you know, collecting for as long as I did and never had one card graded. But this experience at CGC was really, really tremendous. First class all the way. Awesome. Well, I'm, I'm so glad to hear that and uh, I hope you grade more with us. Yeah, absolutely.